Hello everyone. Okay, let's put more light here. Okay, this is my I'm attending the course by Cognesia. Yes, yes. Okay, I'll put the volume. Yes, okay. correct. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, whenever I uh, whenever uh, like this. This is an IR sensor actually, okay? If I put something like this, the light glows. You can see the light. Okay, I'll put you like this. This is the code actually. I've interfaced this IR sensor to Arduino board. An Arduino board has been programmed by a simple code written like this. You can see that uh, this is my code here. Okay, it says that the my Arduino board that is a LED pin on board. There is this Arduino like this one. This is a LED pin number thirteen, and alongside it, you can see that some the light is. This is the LED light. Okay, this is connected to pin number thirteen internally. Okay, and this is pin number seven. I connected this pin number seven wire to this output, and the ground is connected. The blue wire is connected to the ground, and the five volt orange wire is connected to the the VCC of this LED pin. And there are two LEDs. One, this which is constantly glowing, is the power LED, and the second is the reflection LED. That if something an object comes in in front of the sensor this this led this white led it will emit and the reflection will come to the this part this one okay this black led so white will be transmit the some wavelength ir ir sense ir wavelength and black will receive it so this is the setting i have is just a temp, it's a simple setting I can see that my Raspberry Pi 7 inch trust display and this is a kit I got from Cognesia and also all uh, you can obstacle arise in front of it like you know, how the right. person is explaining it goes high the person again, name you know. is Shafi Patel and uh, he is explaining it very beautifully to the to most of the people that uh, who aren't uh, uh, good in programming actually so if you are good in programming, you will understand it immediately in very easy format. It's a simple C and uh, it's just a C and Java like programming. And there are two uh, functions, white setup and white loop. Setup is for the initial part, initialization, and the loop will continue the uh, looping. The code will continue uh, running the code continuously once the initialization has been done. This is the comment. And the sensor pin is the send seven number. This is the seven number pin number seven. This was I have sensed the sensor pin that it is connected to the sensor, and this is an LED pin which is connected on board pin number thirteen. Okay, if I move my hand to closer uh, closer to the sensor, this thirteen number uh, pin will glow. Otherwise, not glow, not glow, not. Okay. Almost instant, instantaneously, I'm doing it. Have a look at it. It's almost you can see that as well. It's almost instant, instantaneous, very fast. And this is the the blue thing you you are seeing. This it's a potentiometer actually. I can change the potential of this sensor uh, to increase or decrease this response rate of the sensor. Thank you guys. I am now continuing. Uh, thank you guys. I am now continuing with my training here. It will uh, end in about uh, half an hour right now. It's uh, always on Saturdays and Sundays and uh, uh, seven to ten. So, thank you guys. And uh, most probably, hopefully, and uh, next uh, Saturday Sunday, I will definitely post uh, something like uh, as a, my live video. So. If you understand something, if you have any queries or doubts, you can just ping me in. I am deeply excited about my IoT stuff and this is just a starting part for me. Thank you guys. Wish me luck.